Are you feeling recovered? I understand that your exertions were more than purely physical, but resting one's body, if only for a moment, is never without merit. As for Hermes, I think it unlikely he will create more Antalekis. He poured much of himself into Meteon, and now that she and her sisters are gone, dissipated in his mind, the grief must be unbearable. He will blame himself. You will believe that. Had he never acknowledged his dissatisfaction with the world, then Meteor would have never been born to suffer and die. To offer to join the Fourteen will be a welcome distraction, and one day hence, he will face the advent of the final days in the role of Van Daniel. That was, you know, one of the that was my questions. huge question. How does he like, actually become Van Daniel? Once he knows all this, why would he even right. become Van Daniel? Oh, okay, cool. I was excited for a hot moment that we would lose our memories and I'd get to be like, where'd I get this fabulous hat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think even if they had done that, they would have taken into account a new piece of gear that you had gotten. <laughs> what if you'd gotten a ring or what, shoes? What am I? Oh, oh, this is lovely. Excellent. <laughs> well, no worries then. And and I go, uh, Tuna oh. looks over at Val and goes, where the hell did you get that weird <laughs> Where'd hat? Where'd you get the hat? Where'd you get that hat? It comes with a mask. That's awesome. <laughs> We, uh, we could we could go down in history well, as the worst fourteen streamers ever. Thou must live and die. Wait, what? Thou must live, die, and know the final quest of the evening. Oh, is this where we're playing? Yes. Stuff, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. This is the final quest of the MS Curator. Thank you evening. for reminding me. Okay, start recording. Bana is watching you in quiet contemplation. Tuna. Val, listen to me. Our duty is not to denounce Hermes for his misguided determination, or to convince them at Selk and Hithlodeus that they have been deceived. No, we must instead ensure that the experiences Hermes sought to expunge are preserved. What remains in our memories alone will be our weapon against the final days. You must fight this battle in your age, and I in mine. Come, let us walk together once more. I will see you to the doors of Propylium. I'll never pronounce that correctly. Hey everyone, welcome to the Clips channel. Did you know this isn't our main channel? Yet yeah, you should subscribe over and find our main videos and our streams as well. We also have a podcast that you can find wherever podcasts can be found. So explore the internet. See you there. Your time in this age is drawing to an end. Upon speaking to Vinav, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you... Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's what I'm here to do. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. This, this piano cheats. This piano cheats. So, it is within. The portal that brought you hither and we'll take you home. Hmm. Uh, head cannon. Tuna would 110% want to stay in it. Yeah, even though you're going to be told no, right? I know I'm going to be told yeah. no. Yeah. But just the way of You feel thought, strongly I'm not going to cause the, a diversion. The way I've thought about my character yeah. just runs towards the problem. To be fair, I don't even know time is passing back in the source, so. <laughs> well, it's not. We 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 have proven that it's true time travel. Yeah. No, it's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not that, simulation. That, no, no, that's not to say we're going to be successful at getting back at the exact time that we left. But. Okay. Well, I'm down. I'm down. All right. Also, I would I would make a I would make a a legitimate argument here that canonically the Warrior of Light does just tend to charge into things. It's true. Anywho, uh, bottom selection. Yep. Three, two, one, go. I 
I appreciate your sentiment. I truly do. But tis a very long game that we must now play. And while you have maintained a stable presence here thus far, there are dangers in lingering over long. No. You must return to your own battlefield. Make use of the knowledge you have attained, that your days here and our friend's sacrifice be not in vain. With Meteon free to pursue her designs, it is only a matter of time until the final days are upon us. We must be ready. From fortifying our defenses to securing our escape, there is much to be done. In spite of this, we cannot allow the report that set this calamity in motion to become common knowledge. Were the masses to learn the fates of the other stars, I fear the situation would spiral out of our control. I must carefully consider who can be trusted and bring them into the fold. Ordinarily, I wouldn't hesitate to call upon the Fourteen. However, it was the desire for a fair determination that drove Hermes to attempt to erase our memories. And were he made aware of his actions, there is no telling whether he would remain a friend or become a foe. Alternately, we might try to alienate him from the Convocation. Yet in doing so, we would deprive ourselves of a brilliant mind who would be invaluable in the crises to come. Quite the dilemma. Which is why I must work independently of the Convocation. Regardless of how we proceed, if we are to permanently avert the final days, we must be equal to Hermes's challenge. We must prove that mankind is worthy to exist. And this hinges, I think, on how we confront the all-consuming despair that accompanies a senseless and seemingly inevitable end. Bewildered and divided, we would perish like the peoples of those celestial ruins. We could not hope to survive the final days, much less take the battle to Meteon at her nest. We must find a way to defeat despair, to unite and prepare as many as possible for the struggle ahead. Heavy will weigh the burden of guiding this legion of souls. Yet I have faith in mankind's potential. As long as he believes in himself, there is naught he cannot achieve. So I will not give up on him. On us. You may find your world to be very different. Or perhaps the erasure of our friend's memories has sown the seeds of a conjunction between us. We cannot know until the moment is at hand. So shall I strive to do my best, taking naught for granted as I walk my path. And I pray you walk with me to the end. As you move forward, so too will I, as will all, resolved to fight for the morrow. And when mankind has found the strength to stand against despair, we shall silence the song of oblivion. She who sings it will learn our journey is far from over. This I promise. Fare you well, my light of the future. Till we meet again.
sneak back. Okay. I made a boo boo. <laughs> oh, did you hit it with your elbow or yeah. something? Okay. Oh, I love these sequences. Thank goodness we're wearing pants this time. Oh, cool. From this day forth, I shall strive to bring honor to the seat of Fandana. see a little snippet of what we missed. Ooh, yeah. Are we gonna get to see it? Even now, I remember standing there, locked in a moment where the sky is aflame. Where stars fall as tears, and screams darken the seas. Where resignation rots the trees. Where terror twists magics into abominations. Such is the lament of they who have gone before. The song of they who tried and failed to create a better world. The song of the end. which hides at the edge of the universe is no longer hope's creation. It is hopelessness incarnate. That day, mankind saw half of its number sacrificed to bring forth Zodiac. And covering the star in a shroud of ether, we forestalled the final days. Yet the cries echoed still. We wept for innocence lost, wailed for death inevitable. A reality too terrible to bear. And for too many who sought comfort in gilded memories of joyful days and tranquil nights. wrong why must we suffer so it needn't be like this no there must be a way to restore things to the way they were to reclaim the perfect paradise we once had no my friends suffering exists and we cannot pretend otherwise no civilization, however great, could eliminate it. If we would live, 
We must accept it as our constant companion. Let us not seek to forget this tragedy. Let us carry it in our hearts, that we may grow stronger and know true happiness. We can't accept it. We won't accept it. It will be ours again. A world free of sorrow. No, it will not. For there has ever been sorrow. Mankind was but spared its biting sting for a time. So please, open your eyes to try and reclaim those lives we lost by sacrificing yet more isn't wisdom it is weakness no paradise is without its shadows if we cannot accept this truth and learn from our pain then our plight shall be repeated Zodiac, God, born of our boundless faith, we bid you hear our prayer. Accept this offering of lives and deliver unto us the lives we once had. Deliver unto us the days of old, the days when the star was a font of love and we knew naught but bliss. You would destroy it? Our beautiful world? Lands that stretched on forever, skies one could drown in, the heartbeat of nature, silent yet strong. And amidst it all, a people, beacons of light and life, laughter that warmed my heart like naught else before. They are my meaning and my purpose, my love. In spite of, or perhaps because of this, I choose to believe in mankind's potential, in his ability to find a way forward. So let there be no way back. From that temptation, I sunder us. Now open no more <laughs> shall man wings <laughs> to bear him to paradise. Henceforth, he shall walk. All is excruciating pain. I breathe fire and torment. I birth a world of suffering to mire and plague.
In one fleeting moment, lives come and go, ever moving towards the unknown. And in that fleeting moment, they cry for the answer to the question. Why, given life, are they meant to suffer, to die? As fragmented, imperfect beings, yours is a never-ending quest. <laughs> to find your purpose, <laughs> knowing your end is assured. <laughs> to find the strength to continue when all strength has left you. To find joy even as darkness descends. And amidst deepest despair, light it? it's so everlasting. Dope. I have no words, but yelling this is cool. I have nothing. The silence speaks volumes. A conjunction has begun to form, an intertwining of your time and mine. When you truly understand what is at stake, and your journey has prepared you to surmount the insurmountable, then shall I honor the promise made in another time, another age. Persistent cat. How do you? Oh God, I can like imagine like how do you just go back and be like, hey friends, so. Uh, a lot happened. We have some things we need to discuss. Tell it like it is. I mean, apparently we're really good at telling the whole story, so, you know. <laughs> we convinced a bunch of people that had never met us. You bet our friends are going to love it. <laughs> They'll eat it up. What a cool use of our model. I mean, that's obviously, like, it, but what a cool the, the, in, flash in the, the, business the, the there. The way they, in-game cutscene in this game. Uh, yeah, it's... Very well done. Very, very well done. Um, well, I get why y'all like Vanas so damn much. Well, yeah, but that's cheating. Jeez. That's cheating. Go with it. Uh, Let's have our Vanaf I'm, I'm aware. No. I'm having my Vanaf. That's how I chose to start my Vanaf rules moment. Yeah. I'm not accusing anyone of anything. I'm just, you know, I saw the comments. The, oh, they've chosen that sort of reaction, have they? You know? Chosen, like, yes. Yes, we, we chosen, yeah. We choose a reaction. Oh, she was full of bullshit. We didn't know. <laughs> I hadn't been to the past to not see her memory away, you know, wiped. But that's the part I really like about it. What? Well, she's not cheese ball. Because if her memory, if the whole memory wipe thing didn't happen, then she's a cheese ball good guy. Hmm. But the fact that she knew a future where she had to endure so she's all that pain. Ex ex yeah, we, she's exercising a great deal of control. Right. And over eons. And like, well, and, and it gets over the sort of, because I'm such a good guy and I'm so cool, that's why I didn't give in to despair after all. No, she didn't give in to despair because she literally couldn't. But also, she knew 
that there was hope. What, what, it, she, it, she, I mean, like, quite literally represents Asm. Yeah. Uh, now more literally than we ever thought, now that we understand just how a direct connection there is there. But I mean, the scene with her confronting all those ancients that turned to Zodiac, I mean, it, it's, it's us versus the Asians in our plate all the yeah. way from Realm of War until now. It's the same thing. The, the entire story of 14 up until this point has been those who look forward for a way to progress to pull themselves out of hardship against those that just want to hunker down and wish they could just go back to the way things were and reject the difficulties of what they faced before them. That's all that, that was just holding up a mirror. It was just an echo of the entire point of this story. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's wonderful. It's fucking it's absolutely wonderful. I'm gonna cuss a lot. I'm sorry, everybody. That was very <laughs> cool. That was on that was like airbrush shit on the side of a van levels of truly over the top earned epic. Yeah. Yeah. And one might be a little confused should one endure eons of suffering. As demonstrated yeah. by Black Ooze in that particular scene. Oh, you're just watching the 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 disassembly, the the, the deconstruction of Vana. Yeah. You know, from the, when we first meet her, Lance punches a street shark to death, pristine white, to just covered in I took it as like the the just the the blood of her battle. It's acre, you know, it's yeah. the yeah, it's it's the Everything she's fought for, everything she's done, this is the toll it's Not taken. corruption, but a a dirtiness from having oh. to endure the aeons of despair before her eyes. Yeah. yeah Waiting for you. Okay, chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at you for a second. <laughs> How we doing? How we holding up? Blue eyes, white vana is the first thing I saw. <laughs> <laughs> I do enjoy Yukio. <laughs> uh, also, I feel like you know I owe like Heidel and Vanal like a, a great, uh, a, a big apology for no. ever thinking evil god. I disagree. <laughs> She's rightfully confused, but again, like for me, my personal reaction, I still would have thought it cheese ball if it wasn't for her escaping the memory wipe. By I'm, having I'm, that bit of hope in her soul, she could weather that time. I I am to to get away from the awesome cutscene that I just saw, which I I loved. The, the, I love watching heroes like it. Be, that's how you make me respect your overly heroic hero. Beat the shit out of them. Let me see them just reduced to barely being able to stand. Or cut an arm off. I'm also a big fan of like that in fights. Uh, mm. It just makes me like heroes when they when either limbs get lost or they just get this just absolutely just wrecked. Um, uh, yeah. uh, anywho, rewinding before that, I am over the moon with how time travel was ha handled. Like absolutely, yeah, it I was am, nicely I done. Have no notes. I am so, there. How many things, chat, those of you who've been watching this journey that we've been on, that have watched most of our playthrough, how many narrative hangups have I stated that this game goes straight for? And then I haven't, and I haven't really, and I haven't hated it. I hate precursor races. Yeah, true. The, the, the last, the, this entire chunk of the MSQ is just like, hey, y'all want to hang out with some precursor races? You want to do that? Like, I hate I, I hate that and shit. Like, it's the worst part of Halo. Um, that's that's great. Time travel, I, I do like time travel, but I feel it is just horribly done in so many pieces of media. Um, that was great. That was absolutely great. The whole time I'm going, because I'm like, that's why I wasn't like, I was, like, it was like, when you first said, are we in a simulation? I'm like, oh, no, a little bit literally said, don't change the past. So, like, I feel like, why would you even mention that? But at the same time, I'm like, I don't know, man. What do I know? I've been wrong a million times. I'm not going to push back on you on this. But at the same time, I'm just, ah, oh, there it is. The bow. A beautiful little bow. But he was like, blink and you miss it. It was in an unvoiced cutscene where he was talking to the dude that wanted to go kill the lichens. 
being like, oh, yeah, no, we, we wiped their memory a bunch of times with this tool. And, and again, it's an unvoiced cutscene. And, and, and Emmett is like, okay, yeah, that's a good tool. But if you use it too many times, there's all kinds of terrible ramifications you can have. And then it becomes this massive, like, cornerstone of this entire arc. Yeah. yeah. And makes what Elizabeth said not crazy or weird. No. Because yeah. he was right in the end. Yeah. Well, I mean, we still, as the Warrior of Light, did not listen to him at all. But luckily for well, us, yes, we chose. But we also Hermes wiped everyone's memory. I think it, it, my head canon, of course, is that yeah, I thought it was a simulation with my glasses, so or a memory that I was reliving or something like that. So why not? Why not give it a go? And kind of the Skynet thing that I've said I enjoy. You know, it was inevitable that we would tell the non. She did remember. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm trying to keep an eye on chat. I'm sorry, y'all. It's this is a lot of y'all here tonight. Hard to keep up on things while also talking to my friend here. Um I am overwhelmed. That was cool. Mm. That was very cool. Jesse wants to know in what way do you think Vana is confused? I don't think Vana is confused. I think Heidelin could have been clearer in the past. And I think her long aeons have left her cryptic. Oh, so you think there's a bit of an, like, a, the, as with every other Asian, like, even Emmett to a certain point succumbed to the, 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 the time that he. And spent. she has this, like, this core in her as the core that remembers and holds on to that hope. But perhaps with strange eons, even death may die. You know, like she... And this is, of course, a trope I enjoy. And watching her become... tattered through her quest, whether... And, you know, maybe we'll get that explanation of whether or not she is... waiting directly for us, if she thinks... All the souls of... I guess she would be able to recognize us directly. Because um, there's a lot of... I mean, it, a lot of people are, like, jumping on... I'm, I'm not visibly confused. I'm, I'm just trying to... I'm trying to figure out how best to represent chat. Because I don't think they're off base here where a lot of people are saying... Uh, the same rules apply. She could, by knowing all that she knows, drastically alter the way we would go about things by being too hands-on sure with her guidance absolutely so it's very likely it could be intentional uh misguidance but also that's the kind of thing like i don't really want to know that until well, i see credits because at the moment this yeah, is still our no what, what like that sort of interpretation is again going back to her being perfect and everything to this moment has been perfect which isn't true and that's kind of how i saw it in that cutscene we just watched now of course you know again like we had the we had the comments all the way back on the well, boat of there I mean, they go, not believe in her. How could they, how, after all this time, how could they not trust her? Well, that they were operating on. They were operating on, yes. on future knowledge that, that, too. That you and I get annoyed by that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. We get, we get, we get annoyed by like, we are operating with limited knowledge. Yeah. These are our reactions. Let us have those reactions because eventually everything will get filled in. Yes. Yeah. So, and if, Let's finish out the quest. Let's finish out the quest. Okay. Let's finish out. Let's put a bow on this. Yeah. Let's put a bow on this. 